Hey everybody, welcome back. We are getting ready to do some more acrylic pouring. And I have in front of me a wood tray that I've already prepped. I've primed the bottom tray and then I've stained the outside. It's not a very expensive wood tray. So I've got some weird staining spots. You probably can't see what I'm pointing at, but like right here, right in here and then of course the glue areas didn't stain at all but i thought it's still and then i've got like there didn't take any stain just some weird spots here we'll try it again just some weird spots and then like right there so we're going to go ahead and use this as a practice tray and then if this works out well, then I may get some higher grade, better quality wood trays uh, to do this with. We're going to do a dirty pour. The colors are Deco Art Brown Sugar Satin, Deco Art Coastal Waters Satin. I've got the leftover yellow that I had mixed up that's kind of a mix of cadmium hue and uh, deep yellow uh, artist loft and then I forget what the color is I think it's pearl viridian but the what the color that I used to make the peacockish looking uh, glassware that we did last time and I've got some titanium white and that's pretty much it for my mixture. I can tell that I don't have them all the same consistency. Because if you look in there, I've kind of got this haze right there already. But we're still going to go ahead and pour this and see how it turns out. And go from there. And what I will probably do is, um, it's a dirty pour, of course, um, we'll probably just do it as a kind of wiggle or ribbon type of pour, but keeping it in the middle so that as I spread it, um, it'll stretch out some. But let's see how we do with this. Oh, and I did the measurement of how much to put in the cup by using salt, um, Olga Solby's uh, calculator. So hopefully I've done this okay. looking awfully muddy. That's a little better turning it that way. Just trying to keep different patterns to keep it interesting as we spread it out. All right, let's torch it. Let's start tilting. I'm probably going to have this out of frame a little bit since I'm at an awkward position.
I've got a bit extra. If I could tilt that part out right there, I would. I'm not liking it so much, but the rest of it's not too bad. This will dry and it'll shallow out as it dries. So let me bring you in for a closer look. Even though I'm not thrilled with this part, I'm still going to let it dry. And then we may re-pour it. I just kicked the camera, sorry. We may re-pour it. Um, we might not. We'll have to wait and see. I do have some pearls coming in from the satin. I don't think it's going to be enough to make me happy, though. <laughs> but let's bring you in. So I've turned on the light. You can get an idea of what I was looking at. Right here is where I'm starting to get some pearls from the satin. Those may keep growing. We'll have to wait and see. Here's the part I'm not so thrilled with. And then back to being okay. There's the center. Just in case, here's a dry picture. Thank you all for joining me on this one, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.